I was influenced by acid and got psychedelic, you know, like the whole generation. But really, I like rock and roll, you know. It was a fabulous time, musically and spiritually. Someone comes up and asks you, they say, now, what do you think about drugs? You know, okay, so if you've been involved in it and if you've tried drugs and stuff, then what can you say? You can, you can only lie if you want your public image to be great. The only way out is to lie, you know, and like so many people do. But the thing is, we're honest, you know. If, if people are awkward enough to go and ask us that question, they're going to get an honest reply, and it may always, it's always going to be something that they may not like, you know. A lot of pop people go through a hell of a lot, you know. Just say in one year they go, they see so much, and they get, they go through so, so many different things that uh, they either just want to get high. I mean, basically, it starts <clears throat> with people who just want to get high. Because the world is such a, a hard place to try and make it in. So, I mean, it's, they're all just like buffers, all those drugs and things. And I suppose if they get on top of you, you know, they get next to you. Anybody who's been in the drug scene, uh, it's not something you can go on and on doing, you know. It's like a drink or anything. You've got to come to terms with it. You know, like too much food or too much anything. So you've got to get out of it. You're left with yourself all the time, whatever you do. You know, meditation, drugs, anything. But you've got to get down to your own God and your own temple in your head, like Donovan says, etc. And it's all down to yourself, you know.